Miss Jen had a garage sale last weekend. She started with $4.35 to help people make change. Help her count her money and figure out how much money she made in profit. How do we start with counting money? Well, we start by counting the bills first. So, I separated out the bills and we are going to uh, start with the bigger bills first. So we have a $20 bill. I'm going to start with $20. And then we have $110. And then I sorted off the $1 into five, uh, five increments. So I have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five here, and one, two, three, four, five here, and a one dollar bill left over. So five plus five plus one is eleven dollars. So that added together gives me forty one dollars. Next. What's next? Well, we count the coins. But Miss Jen, there are a lot of coins to count, so which coins do we start counting first? Well, we always start with the ones that are the largest value, and in this case, these are the quarters. So, the quarters have a value of 25 cents. Well, how many quarters make up a dollar? Well, if a dollar is 100 cents, and a quarter is 25 cents, then four quarters make up one dollar. So we're going to separate all of these quarters into uh, sections of one dollar. So four quarters equals a dollar. So one, two, three, four, this is one dollar. One, two, three, four, this is another dollar. I don't quite have a, enough to make one more. I don't have quite enough to make one more. So I have 25 here, 25 here, and 25 here. And that adds up to 75 cents. So I have $2.75 in quarters. Next, my highest value is dimes. Now, dimes equal how many cents? Well, they're 10 cents a piece. And again, we're going to figure out how many dimes add up to $1. Well, if they're 10 cents a piece and there are 100 cents in a dollar, then there are going to be 10 dimes in each dollar. So we're going to separate them out into $1 amounts. So there are 10 rows of 10 dimes in each. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So I've got a dollar here, one dollar here, one and one and one and one. And then not quite enough here. So I have one, two, three, four. That's 40 cents. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six. I have six dollars and forty cents in dimes. My next amount is nickels. Now nickels are how much? How, worth how much? They're five cents a piece, and we discussed last week. Uh, how many nickels make up uh, a dollar? Now, there are five cents. How many fives make up 100? There are 20 fives in a 100, so it's going to take 20 nickels to make up a dollar. So again, we're going to split these into increments of 20. And here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. So we've got one dollar here, 
one dollar here and one dollar here of course we don't have quite enough here so we have uh, five cents and five cents and five cents and another five so five ten fifteen twenty so we have twenty cents here so we have three dollars and twenty cents in nickels all right so what are we going to end up doing next well, we have to add it all together to figure out what our total is. So, our, we had, going back, we had $41 in uh, bills. Now we need to make sure to keep our place values lined up. And we'll put two um, places after the dollar sign since that's going to be important and then we have two dollars and seventy cents in our quarters over here so we'll put two dollars and seventy five cents okay and our dimes we had six dollars and forty cents and then for our nickels right here we had three dollars and twenty cents still getting used to writing this down on the computer so forgive me for my bad handwriting so we're going to add this all together so, of course, starting with the smallest place that we have here, 0 plus 5 plus 0 plus 0, that gives us 5. Alright, so then we're going to go to the tenths place. Alright, let's try um, our touch math. So we have 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So we have 13, so we're going to put the 3 here and the 1 up here. And we'll do touch math again. Start 1, 2, 3, 4. And then we have 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. 12, 13, this is 13 again, okay, I put another one up here, and then we'll start with the bigger number first, 4, and then 5, and that gives us this, and don't forget to add your decimal point in there, that's very important, we just drop down our decimal point when we're adding, don't forget to label the, this, uh, dollar sign goes out in front. So our total so far is $53.35. Well, are we done? Let's check for reasonableness. Okay. Um, well, did we answer the question that was asked? Well, let's go back to the problem and check. All right. Uh, Miss Jen had a garage sale. She started with $4.35 to help people make change help her count her money and figure out how much money she made in profit. Well, uh, we didn't do anything with that $4.35 yet. Um, and profit is what somebody makes above the cost. So if I put in $4.35 at the beginning, I need to take that $4.35 back out. So if I'm taking something back out, that means I'm going to do what operation? An operation is either adding, subtracting, multiplying, or dividing. So I'm going to, I'm going to subtract it. So let's put our total here again. We're going to have, we figured out we have fifty-three dollars and thirty-five cents. So this time we're going to subtract. 
Uh, and I had four, I put in four dollars and thirty-five cents. Well, this turned out somewhat nice and easy to do. Okay, five minus five is zero. Three minus three is also zero. Decimal point. All right, we can't subtract four from three, so we're gonna have to borrow from our neighbor. Cross that out, becomes four. We can cross this one out, this becomes 13. Uh, we discussed in some classes, there are two different ways. You can either add the one in front of the three or cross it out completely and write the 13 um, up atop, whichever works for you. So 13 minus 14, let's try this with touch math. 13, uh, 12, 11, 10, 9. So 13 minus 4 is 9. And then 4 we just bring right down. So our profit made, or my profit made, was $49. That's not a bad, uh, bad day's work for a garage sale. So, alright guys, if you have any questions about this, just uh, write them down on a sheet of paper and this was basically a review of uh, a problem that you guys um, watched on a video last week. I just want to show you that this actually comes up in real life. This was a problem I actually needed to do and um, solve just last weekend. So um, have a great evening and I will see you guys in the morning checking your notes.